I'm going to talk about roaming and in particular opportunistic key caching which is a feature that lets you do faster roaming than without it. So first of all roaming is when you're uh, associated to an AP, you've got a client on an AP and that's all good and well but let's say it moves but there's another AP broadcasting the same network um, and you, you, roam, you roam to that AP. It'll reassociate to the network and continue on. Now, if you've got 802.1x security, like in an 802.11i network, instead of a pre-shared key, the client will have to go via the AP to an authentication server and get authenticated before it's allowed on the network. And that takes a bit of time because we don't know where that off server is and even if it's close, it's still going to take some time. So the standard, without any special features, is supposed to work such that if the client's on associates to initial AP, here's an AP that it's first on, it'll do all that authentication first with the auth server, and once it's allowed on, it'll do the four-way handshake and, and it's good to go. But then if it goes to another AP, this AP hasn't met this before, so it, it has to do that same auth again with the auth server, and, which again takes time, and then it'll do the four-way handshake. But, if it goes back to an AP that had already authenticated to, now they've already cached their master keys, okay? So they, they can go straight to the four-way handshake if it's been on that AP before. Essentially, they've, they've met each other and they know who they are. And then, if it reassociates again to another AP like before, because it's already been on this now, it's roamed a couple of times, this will then also go straight to the four-way handshake. So without any features, that's how it should work. With opportunistic key caching, the idea is, it's not part of the 802.11 standard, but it's used in a lot of places, it's pretty common. What we can do is when you first associate to a network, it'll do all that authentication initially, because it has to initially see who you are. But the idea is, once you then roam to another AP, even if you haven't been here yet, because it's centrally managed by some controller, or virtual controller, some centrally managed uh, controller, this AP will allow it to go straight to the four-way handshake as well. So what we can bypass is the full authentication server communication that takes time. So if there's another 50 APs that have never seen the client, it can roam to them and go straight to the four-way handshake. So I've done some captures with an iPhone and an Android phone because they don't always work the same way but I'll show you the difference between those two scenarios. Okay to start with I've got the iPhone doing the initial association so there it is so it goes through all this stuff here which is the uh, 8021x authentication and once it's successful it does the four-way handshake and you can see I've got the um, PMK ID listed over here in this column basically that's in the information down here, blah, 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 PMK ID. I've just applied that as a column in Wireshark so I can see it easily. And same with PMK ID over here. Now, that's on the first AP. When I roam to the next AP, we do a reassociation request. Okay, same network. And as I said, that AP's never seen it, so it also does the full auth right here, blah, 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 success and then does the four-way handshake. And you can see there's a different PMK ID here. Now when I roam back to the initial AP, once I reassociate to that, the reassociation request from the phone sends this PMK ID. <clears throat> now if you have a look, it starts with 2E6. If we go back to the top, it's the same one that we initially had. So by the time we come here and reassociate to that AP, we don't have to do all that authentication again, we can go straight to this four-way handshake. And then when I roam to that second AP again, it's the same situation. When I reassociate to the other AP, look at this, 1728, blah blah blah, we see earlier, it was 1728 when we made the keys before, so it can go straight to the four-way handshake as well. Oh, this one, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I've got opportunistic key caching enabled, and I'm doing this with an Android phone. So it associates to the network, to the initial AP, and does all the authentication, okay? Then the four-way handshake once we're good. Now, when it roams to another AP, straight after reassociation, it goes to the four-way handshake. 
So it bypassed all that authentication with the server, thereby saving time. Now, if we go back to the first AP, it's the same sort of thing. You just reassociate, four way handshake. Go to the other AP, reassociate, four way handshake. So it doesn't have to do the full server authentication other than for that initial association. So the Android does that quite well. Going back to just the original setup without OKC enabled, and this time I'm looking at the Android. Now, you can see initially it does its association to the network and goes through all the authentication as expected and the four-way handshake. Then it roams to a new AP and has to do all the authentication and the four-way handshake. That's expected. But now, when I went back to the first AP, this is with the Android, it did the reassociation, but it still did the full off when it should have gone straight to the uh, four-way handshake. And if you notice, the reassociation to the AP it's already been on, look at this PMKOD, it starts with 051 blah blah blah. Initially when it was on there, it's, it was different. It was this 9499. So they're different. When it's going back to that AP that it started with, this should be the same. The Apple was, but the Android wasn't. So it's had to do the full off again. So to me, that's not really doing what it should, even on a normal network, OKC okay, aside. And of course, when it goes to the next AP again, even though it's already been on that, it's the same situation. It sends off, where are we? Reassociation, it sends off this totally different PMK ID, and the AP doesn't like it, so it says, okay, we're doing a full off, and off it goes. So it goes to show that different clients do roaming very differently and the only way you can really tell is do a packet capture and check it out.